Hi guys, now we're going to have a look at the fin on Harrier XB741. The aircraft came in as a Harrier GR3 and first of all I'm just going to talk you through the fin on our other Harrier uh, XZ130. So I'll uh, zoom up the steps and show you what's going on on this fin. This is a GR3 specification fin and as you can see there's um, a fairing on top which is a modification done in the uh, 1970s where they added a forward facing radar warning receiver in the front leading edge of the fin. So what we have to do on this aeroplane is demodify it and turn it back to earlier specification which is Harrier GR1 which is as XV741 flew in the air race. Uh, this front brown piece up here, that's actually a fibreglass radome, got one there. You can see that, that's just a, a little fibreglass radome fairing that allows uh, radar and radio waves to go through it and behind it is a, a big housing which has been uh, riveted into place that there um, houses the radar warning receiver and the fin has all been modified on this aircraft to bring it to the latest specification of GR3. Come down the steps without falling over. What we've had to do for this project is we've had to turn the fin back to earlier spec which is, uh, this is the end result here. There's a lot of work gone into this. Um, very happy with the end result. We weren't expecting it to take so long. Um, but there's a monumental amount of work gone into uh, turning a GR3 fin back into GR1 specification. You can see on the floor down here, guys, this is all the structure which we, we've had to demodify and drill off. Uh, each side's got over 300 rivets, which we've had to drill out. The last major headache on converting the fin back to GR1 specification was the fin cap. We didn't actually realise until we'd started this part of the project that Harrier GR1 fin cap is different from a Harrier GR3 one. The uh, leading edge profile is exactly the same but when they did the modification back in the 1970s they had to make the fin cap physically smaller uh, to allow access to fit all the RWR inside. So this Harrier GR3 fin cap which came in as you can see from this is quite significantly smaller so that was a major headache going out and finding a proper Harrier GR1 fin cap to finish off this part of the restoration.